So you know that habit that you really want to adopt, but you haven't been able to get it to stick quite yet? Perhaps that is a good thing. I just recently had some huge awareness around habits that I'd like to share with you, and I'm going to share with you at the end of this video the only types of habits that I think are worth pursuing. I'm Karen Valencic. I am the author and founder of Spiral Impact, The Power to Get It Done with Grace. I've worked with leaders and teams for over three decades in the area of conflict mastery and collaboration. So my work is all grounded in the martial art Aikido. And recently, after 33 years of practice, I tested for my third Don Black Belt. This time around, I felt I was unlearning more than I was learning, and that was really important. I was truly gifted to have the guidance of a sixth Don, who is an amazing Aikidoist and teacher, Sensei Lisa Tomlioni. She has a mantra that is, forget muscle memory. Now, when she first said that, I thought, wait a minute. In a martial art, don't I want to have muscle memory so that when something happens, I have an automatic response, a habit? Well, what she shared with me, I now agree with her. Muscle memory, really bad. Habits can be really bad. So let me explain further. So in Aikido, and I have practiced with thousands of Aikidoists all over the place. I've traveled extensively practicing and studying with, with many, many, many teachers. And we all have a tendency, there's some techniques that we do in a certain given way. And she shared a shift in how to do that technique that works far more effectively and is more efficient and has less resistance. And it was like, wow. Wow, just because you've been taught something one way doesn't mean it's great. And so what I realized is when you do things with muscle memory, you can adopt habits that really blind you, that make you very unaware of what's going on. The same can be true with brushing your teeth. You brush your teeth a certain way and you may not be doing it very well because you've gotten into a habit. With conflict, which is one of my specialties, there are people that we may inherently have conflict with and we will get into a habit of the way we respond or react to them. You know, even seeing a caller ID on our phone can create a habitual response that really blinds us and makes us numb to hear what's actually going on. The types of habits that I think are worth pursuing are those habits that allow you to be centered and present with what is going on. And that way you can really have that awareness of what appropriate responses are. So those are the types of things that I cover in my videos and in my work. If that's interesting to you, I invite you to follow me and subscribe to this station. And until next time, stay centered, stay present. Thank you so very much. Bye-bye.